mics aren't new to us on The Gadget Show, but how good are the latest offerings? To find out, I'm getting down and dirty, hitting the track with two of the toughest electric bikes around. Oh! How much fun they are to ride! And speaking of fun, this is the Charge XC5010, a custom-built off-roader with a 1,500-watt motor that can hit speeds of 30 miles an hour. And this is the Volts e-Trail, another custom-built machine with a 1,900-watt motor and hybrid pedal electric gears. To help me put these bikes through their paces, I've been joined by former downhill world champion, Steve Pete. Come on, mate. Keep up. Yeah. It really does let you go for it. Nah, that's not going for it. Steve and I are packing six times more power than Rachel and John's machines, thanks to the 50-volt lithium-ion batteries on our bikes. Oh! The Charge has nine gears designed for cross-country and downhill riding. And luckily, we don't have to worry about speed limits here. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Ah! The onboard computer on the Volts has three speed modes, adjustable on the fly, and there's an additional seven pedal gears to match any terrain. So we focused on fun and saved the chat for later. To have that a little bit of assistance to get back up a hill, nip around and do a jump again or do a, a downhill trail again, just makes it easier to get to the top and then have fun on the downhill. But this is more fun, isn't it, I think? The go cycle's more fun. It is more fun, yeah. A bit more whimsical. Whimsical? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the battery on the Charge XC has a range of 25 miles, but the Volts doubles that with a range of 50, both charging in about an hour. But at 23 kilos, the Volts is much heavier than the 17 kilo Charge XC. It definitely felt heavy, but as soon as you got on the trail, that, that weight went away and didn't even notice after that. No, so. I agree, actually. Uh, a lot more travel, a lot more suspension, a little bit heavier, but... You can chuck it into a corner and have a bit of power in there. I felt more confident going off the jumps and throwing it around those corners yeah. um, than I did with the XC. Oh! Definitely more downhill fun orientated, I reckon. That was enormous fun. It was absolutely off the fun scale. So after a day of electric-assisted cycling, what do we really think? While the Volts and the Charge XC were both absolutely awesome, the Volts was that little bit more awesome.